who hasn't heard of Mark Harmon? The beloved small screen star Mark Harmon has been on the beloved CBS show NCIS for almost two decades. But have you ever thought about the truth about him? What is he like? Well, not only has he had a stellar career, he has a pretty fascinating personal life as well. So what are we waiting for? Strap yourselves in and let's get started. First up, he was once named the sexiest man alive. Born in 1951 to football player Tom Harmon and actress Elise Knox, TV's favorite heartthrob Mark Harmon has been a common fixture on our TV screens for several years now. He had several successful big screen projects in the 1980s. A particular favorite was his beloved role of a cool laid-back teacher in a 1987 high school classic called Summer School. This is why it probably won't surprise you to know that Mark Harmon was named People's Sexiest Man Alive in 1986. And with his smooth charm and acting skills, it's not hard to understand why. Next, football runs in his blood. Born to Tom Harmon, a gifted college player, football runs in Mark's blood. He revealed how he used to love watching clips of his dad in action all throughout his childhood. That's where Mark's love for college comes from. Later on, Tom Harmon became a football broadcaster, which is of course increased Mark's love for this thrilling game even further. His love for football and his outstanding skill can be seen in his dominating performance as a quarterback for his hometown UCLA Bruins. He played in the years 1972 and 1973 and led the Bruins to an overall record of 17-5 during this period. In fact, in 1972, Harmon led UCLA to a stunning 17-14 victory over Nebraska, which broke the Cornhuskers' unbelievable 32-game winning streak. So why did John Wayne call Mark Harmon a rebel? Acting icon and legend John Wayne once had an interesting interaction with Mark Harmon. As Harmon recalled on The Tonight Show with Stephen Colbert, it was for sure a night to remember. It happened in 1973 when Harmon won a National Football Foundation Award. As it happened, John Wayne, also commonly known as the Duke, was also in attendance. Mark Harmon, unaware that the event was tux only, had to get a tuxedo at the last minute and could only get a dove gray tuxedo with a frilly undershirt. Imagine that. You'll never guess what happened next. John Wayne was apparently taken by surprise by his bold outfit choice and called him a rebel all night. At the end of the night, he even signed Mark Harmon's program to the rebel. May the wind always be at your back, John Wayne. Isn't that a beautiful sentiment? And now he got his own boss fired. A lot of people walked on eggshells around their bosses, but not Mark Harmon. In 2007, it was reported that Harmon could not tolerate working under the prolific TV writer Donald P. Belisario. All of his accolades couldn't save Belisario from Mark Harmon's anger. Apparently, the actor disliked Belisario's tendency to micromanage and not finish script pages until the very last minute. Harmon also resented the 16-hour workdays Belisario demanded. Ultimately, Harmon won this battle and Donald Belisario had to resign from his own show. But you have to wonder about this man's star power. Few people can fire their boss and live to tell the tale. But apparently, nothing is impossible for Harmon. Did you know he once saved a teenager's life? Few on-screen heroes get the chance to be real-life heroes as well, but Mark Harmon got the opportunity to save a teenager's life, and he came through. 20 years ago, Harmon saved someone from dying a horrific death stuck in a dangerous, fiery car wreck. The story goes, one day in January 1996, two teenagers got into a car accident very close to Harmon's home in Los Angeles. One of the teenagers crawled out of the wreckage, but the other, Colin Specht, was trapped in the burning vehicle. That must have been a terrifying ordeal that not many would be able to handle. But luckily, Mark Harmon was quick to the rescue. Demonstrating quick thinking and not a small amount of grit, Harmon hurried to the flaming car with a sledgehammer. He smashed a window in to pull Speck to safety. Speck suffered many injuries, but it would have been a lot worse had Harmon not thought so quickly on his feet. Looks like his character on NCIS isn't the only one saving lives. So, was he the reason Polly Perrette left NCIS? Polly Perrette, the gorgeous brunette who played the fan favorite character Abby Shudo, announced her departure from NCIS in 2018 after more than 350 episodes. Frank took it hard but accepted 
prompted her decision to leave. But it turns out her decision was perhaps a bit more insidious. Her cryptic answers about her reasons for leaving have fans speculating. Adding fuel to the fire after her last episode aired, Perrette tweeted revealing she had gone through multiple assaults on set. Allegedly, Perrette didn't feel safe at work, and that is why she decided to leave. Nobody knows exactly the right answer, but many people are convinced she left because of bad blood between her and Harmon, claiming that they were so problematic that they wouldn't even shoot scenes with each other. Next up, Harmon's dog is dangerous. It seems like Mark Harmon is a dog lover, and who can blame him? It's hard not to love such a loyal animal. But it's not all fun and games where Mark Harmon's dog is concerned. In October 2016, reports came out that Harmon's pit bull, Dave, bit a crew member. Insider information reveals that Dave bit the crew member with such violence that it traumatized Tech had to get 16 stitches. Yikes, that's a lot. Harmon was horrified and didn't bring Dave to work again unless it was an emergency. But get this, reports suggest that Dave might also be one of the reasons Peretti left NCIS. Reports from the inside suggest that Perrette was not the biggest fan of Dave and was furious that he was allowed on set despite being potentially dangerous. Now for Elizabeth Taylor's gift to Harmon. It seems like Mark Harmon regularly runs into bizarre scenarios with Hollywood icons. He had a similar run-in with none other than Elizabeth Taylor. While appearing on Stephen Colbert's show, Harmon revealed that Taylor only worked for eight hours per day according to her contract. When the eight hours were up, she promptly would leave. Well, one day it so happened that she had to work two hours longer than the eight hours, and she was not very pleased with that. Mark Harmon, also frustrated by all the difficulties, said something like, Welcome to the club. Elizabeth Taylor was not very pleased with the comment and glared at Harmon. But the next day, she abandoned her eight-hour clause. But that's not where the story ends. At the end of the shooting during the rap party, Taylor hosted a home. The stunning actress host gave every party gifts, and she got Mark Harmon a little something extra. Get this, it was a solid 1959 Hamilton Select watch with an engraving on the inside that said, MH, two hours, tick tock, love you, T. Talk about a fashion statement. So, how come Mark Harmon doesn't star in movies? The reason for this is a real tearjerker and in fact sums up the kind of person Mark Harmon is quite effortlessly. You might not know this, but movie shoots can last anywhere from a few weeks to several months. Not only this, but these shoots can happen almost anywhere in the world. When Harmon's first child was born, he had to leave his wife and newborn behind to film a movie. When he left, his first child had just taken his first steps. And when he came back, his kid was walking around without a care in the world. That's when Mark Harmon realized that continuing to work in movies meant that he would have to miss too many beautiful memories with his children, and he wasn't sure if that was a sacrifice sacrifice he wanted to make. He realized that the big movie checks were not worth it if he had to miss all this. So he decided to settle for TV work where shooting usually happens for around 22 weeks a year, along with always being in the same studio. Harmon made the choice in an emotional moment as a father desperately wanting to be in a child's life, but it ended up being a great choice for him. What would Mark Harmon be if he wasn't an actor? Seems like the obvious choice would be a football player since he already has experience in it. Has a family history and clearly loves it. But that's not the answer to this. In a surprising turn of events, Mark Harmon said that if he wasn't an actor, he'd probably be something like a carpenter, saying he likes getting up and going out of the house to do something practical. What a strange choice for a backup career. We hope you enjoyed hearing about the inside world of the enigma that is Mark Harmon. That's all for now, but we'll be back soon with more amazing videos. To stay up to date with the entertainment industry, keep watching our videos. Tell us what you found most surprising about Mark Harmon in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time.